Hello and welcome to the Blossoming Bloomers Embroidery Pattern Tutorial. If you purchase my pattern through Etsy, this video will help act as your guide in addition to the PDF to take you through the project step by step. For this project, I'm using Sulky Brand uh, printable water soluble stabilizer paper. I can print my pattern directly onto it and then cut it out like so. Try to leave about a centimeter of negative space around your pattern. Place your garment on a flat surface and smooth it out. Peel the mesh part off the back of your stabilizer sticker and tuck it slightly under the pocket and smooth it down onto your fabric. Be sure that the corners are pushed down fully onto the fabric so they don't pop up on you while you stitch. Repeat the same process for the smaller pieces of the pattern. For these, you're placing them directly on the pocket, not too, too close to either side of the pocket. This way you'll have enough room underneath when you're maneuvering your stitches. And once again, be sure everything is nice and smooth down to the fabric. Once you've done that, flip your garment around and make sure the fly is opened up. This will give you more maneuverability at the waist. The first color we're working with is DMC 3362. You'll use one strand of floss doubled over, tie a double knot. Coming up from underneath the fabric on our furthest plant here, start at the base of the stem and be sure not to go through the pocket on your way up. You're going to be stitching this first stem using back stitch. So make a stitch and then come back up through the fabric about a stitch length ahead. And then you're going to be coming back down through the tail end of your previous stitch, just like this. Repeat this process until you've filled in the full stem. You should now have something like this. Next, we're going to do the leaves. We're going to use straight stitch or satin stitch to fill in the leaves. So we're just coming up and then filling in the stitch length of the leaf, like so. And you're going to do this about three times until the entire shape of the leaf is filled in. And then repeat this process until you've filled in every single leaf on this first plant. If you run out of floss or you finished working with a particular floss color, make sure to leave yourself enough room on the back side so that you can tie a secure double knot, like so. Trim away excess floss once your knots are tied so that you don't have floss coming up through the fabric and bothering you while you work. You should now have something that looks like this. We're going to repeat that same process on the pocket here and I'll show you how to do that. The process for stitching on the pocket is exactly the same, it's just a more confined space to work with. So once again you're coming up through the underside of just the pocket and you're going to use back stitch to fill in the stems. Once you've finished, you should have something that looks like this. At this point, you may have noticed that the little corners are popping up a bit. Just smooth them down as you go. Next, you'll be using DMC 311. You'll use one strand of floss doubled over again with a double knot. Starting from the underside of your fabric at the bottom of the stem of this second plant, come up through the fabric and once again use back stitch to fill in the entire stem.
Repeat the same process using backstitch for this little plant on the pocket. Next, you'll be using DMC 436. This time you'll use three strands of floss doubled over and tied in a double knot. You're gonna be filling in the flowers on this second plant using little V stitches. So this is just straight stitch. You're coming up through the bottom of the fabric at the top of one of the petals and filling in the length of the petal like so. And then coming back up at the top of the conjoining petal and making that V shape. And just repeat this process until you've filled in all of the flowers on the second plant. Next, you'll be using DMC 3053 to fill in the stems and leaves on these other plants. You're gonna be using backstitch again for the stems and you'll use satin stitch for the leaves. Once again, you'll just use one strand of floss doubled over and tied in a double knot. You'll now have something that looks like this. Next, we're gonna do the daisy petals. And for this, we'll use DMC Blanc. We're gonna use all six strands of floss doubled over and tied in a knot. Come up through the underside of the fabric at the end of one of the petals and use straight stitch to fill in the petal. Repeat this process until you've filled in all the petals on both flowers. Once you finish that, you'll be filling in petals over here using DMC 210. And once again, you're using all six strands of floss doubled over, and again, just small straight stitches to fill in all the petals on that plant. Next, you're gonna use the same color floss, so DMC 210, to fill in the little petals over here on the pocket. Um, I'm only using three strands doubled over here. And coming up through the underside, being careful not to go through uh, two layers of fabric, you're coming up and you're just gonna stitch in little V shapes using straight stitch and work your way up the plant. Once you finish that, we'll be going back to our daisies to fill in the centers using a cluster of French knots. We'll use DMC 781, two strands doubled over, coming up through the fabric, hold the floss with your non-dominant hand and wrap it twice. Go back down through the fabric, right beside where you came up, trying to keep that tension the whole way. Push your needle through and then pull it from the underside slowly. This is probably the most difficult stitch that you'll do in this project. It does take a little bit of practice, so I would recommend if you're having trouble um, watching some YouTube videos, tutorials about how to do it, or practicing in on a separate um, hoop. For each daisy, you'll want to do about three or four French knots, or just keep going until it looks nice and full and even. Next, we're gonna do the snapdragons. Um, so we'll start with the stems and leaves using DMC 500, two strands of floss doubled over. You're going to use back stitch to fill in the stems and you're gonna use straight stitch to fill in the leaves, just trying to follow the sort of crescent shape of the leaf with your stitches. Once you finish with the stems and leaves, you can start on the petals. You'll use DMC 519, six strands doubled over and starting at the bottom of one of the stems, you're just gonna fill in the petals until you get about halfway up the plant, and you'll do that for both.
Once you've made it about halfway up the Snapdragons, you're going to switch to DMC 747 and complete the rest. Our final flower is our poppy. We're going to use DMC 311 or 3011 and use two strands of floss doubled over and backstitch to work our way up the stems and then we'll use our straight or satin stitch to fill in the leaves. I've added an extra couple stitches just where the petals meet the stem here just to make it look a little bit thicker. For the petals, I'll be using DMC 3722, one strand of floss doubled over. And again, I'm filling in each petal using straight stitch or satin stitch. And I'll do that for all three flowers. You should now have something that looks like this. Next, you're going to use DMC 3859, two strand, sorry, one strand of floss doubled over, just to add a couple little accent um, lines on each petal. So I'm just gonna do about three of them and I'll just do them on the front two petals of each flower. Lastly, to complete these poppies, I'm just gonna fill in the centers using a couple straight stitches and I'm using DMC 08, two strands doubled over, just filling in whatever is visible so there are no gaps. For the two little buzzing bees, we're going to use DMC 3820, two strands doubled over to fill in every other line on the bodies. And then we'll use DMC 310 to fill in the rest. And again, we're just using straight stitch here and a couple extra to fill in For the For the wings, there. we'll use DMC 747, six strands, and you're just going to do two straight stitches to complete the, the wings. After you've finished the bees, you'll be pretty much all done. Um, when I was filming this, I forgot to add the leaves on the far left plant on the pocket there. So that is DMC 3011. And just use one strand of floss doubled over and you'll use straight stitch or satin stitch to fill in just those leaves. After this, you can wash the stabilizer off and you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now you'll notice in some of the stitches where it's longer satin stitches, um, it can get a little wavy like that. When you're wearing them, they should straighten out. Or if you like, you can add, go back and add some stitches to secure them a little bit better. If your embroidery still feels a bit stiff, that is the sign that you just need to go back and wash it again. It may take a few rinses to get all of the stabilizer off. Thank you all so much for following along with this pattern. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.